guys, it's me Alexander, and this video is going to be my Q&A slash animeismen update. So, yeah, I got questions from Facebook and Cosplay Amino, not many, so it should go by fast, hopefully, possibly, maybe, kind of, like, sorta, and let's get started. So, first question is from my friend Christopher, and he asked, who or what is your inspiration to cosplay? I say my inspiration to cosplay is other people. Like, you know, I can see them on Instagram, Facebook, wherever, and just be like, you know, mm, I want to cosplay today, I want to look good, you know. I can see the effort that they put in their cosplays, I'm just like, I want to do that too. I need to stop being lazy and get off my butt. So, that's my motivation and inspiration. Other people. Okay, next question is from my friend Terry. What character do you feel you relate to the best? So... This is really easy for me. Out of every anime I've ever watched, out of every anime character I've ever went through a journey with, I'd have to say it's Sakura Haruna from Naruto. After, you know, watching all of Naruto, the movies, the series, and reading some of the manga, I'm just like, I can't find another person or character I can relate to so much. Like, it's pretty crazy how much I can relate to her. But yeah, it's definitely Sakura Haruna. My next question is from my friend Katie. Which male anime character would you date? And what is your ideal date with that character? Hmm. Well, just like any other girl who's interested in anime, I have like more than one, more than five anime male crushes. But I have to say my number one is Rin Matsuoka. And my ideal date with him is really cheesy because he's a swimmer and he does that every day. But this is something I actually I actually want to do with a lover. So it's, you know, go out somewhere and go swimming at nighttime in a heated pool under the stars, you know. Just, oh my god, I didn't even say what I'm thinking. I'm just thinking about it. It's like, ah. So, that. <laughs> My friend Ricky asks, what is your favorite part of cosplay and do you ever plan to do any gaming videos? My favorite part of cosplay is dressing up, definitely, becoming a character because I can take a break from reality. I don't have to be myself for that moment in time. I can be somebody else. I don't have to deal with, you know, real life drama, real life chaos, you know, stuff like that, can just be somebody else and be like, leave me to my anime world. So, that's definitely my favorite part of cosplay. And the whole gaming videos thing, nah, no. I'm gonna leave that to Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, and PewDiePie, because I do not have the setup for that kind of stuff, and the only games I own are The Sims. And just constantly doing less plays of Sims would get boring, but yeah, that's definitely not me. I'm gonna stick to my cosplay tutorials and whatnot, so I'm gonna leave that up to those guys because they're good at it and I would not be. So, to begin my questions on cosplay Amino, I got a question from Gemini Caster What is your opinion on buying versus making cosplay? And what is your opinion on real hair versus wigs for cosplay? Um, buying versus making. Okay, um, if you're like me, you will prefer to buy your cosplay. Um, because one, you cannot sew. Two, it's cheaper. My opinion. Unless you have ways, if you're making your cosplay, to make it cheaper somehow. That's pretty cool too. I mean, you get yourself good deals on that. So, my life depending on depended on sewing. I would be dead like a hundred times. Just dead. Um, so yeah. But if you make cosplays, take care of that talent, take advantage of it, you know, make as many things as you possibly can. Um, because you're lucky. <laughs> I can't so for shit. Um, but making your cosplays, I can understand. Um, you would want it fitted to your body. You wouldn't want to have to stress over, you know, having it shipped overseas on time 
or something getting messed up and you know all that mess um, but I go through that because I cannot make cosplay so I'm on the buying side opinion on real hair versus wigs for cosplay I say definitely a wig it just completes the look more and it helps you stand out more I mean I couldn't do like take out my blue extensions and just throw my hair up in pigtails and be black rock shooter like I wouldn't feel complete I wouldn't feel like the character like I legit need to look on point like the character so I absolutely need a wig so in my opinion I prefer wigs for cosplay but if you don't have like the money to purchase a wig or something like that then that's highly understandable by all means use your real hair but I wouldn't recommend like dyeing it constantly for like every single character that you do um, because you'd be spending that money you could buy a wig with on tons of hair dye. Rosie 223 asked what type of binder if you do use any for your crossplays. I use this, just a typical sports bra made by Champions. Um, the only crossplay I do is Purple Guy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Wolf underscore Pluto asks, what was the last cosplay you did and do you go to any cons out of state? Um, my last cosplay that I did was Miku Zatsune, you know, the anti-Miku from Vocaloid. Yeah. Um, and I've only been out of state once for a con, and that was the Anime Expo in California. Um, I would love to eventually do that in the future. Just go out of state for cons, you know? So, once I start making more money, that's gonna happen. But as of now, I only stay within North Carolina and go to cons around the area here, so. Yogurt Pie, that's a cute name. <laughs> do you think it's more important to have comfortable or perfect looking cosplay? Okay, so if you're me, you're definitely on the perfectionist side. You want to be perfect. But honestly, in my opinion, it's better to have comfortable, be comfortable in your cosplay. With being on the perfect cosplay side, you, oh my goodness. Okay, so here's the story. Um, Anime Expo 2015. I dressed up as a black rock shooter on Saturday and I had these massive heels on. I was walking all over the con and like I said, heels. And my feet were killing me. <laughs> and it took us, me and my boyfriend, it took us about an hour to get there. Like metro and all those kind of buses, you know, everything. Um so I was wearing those all day long. So definitely, I would say being comfortable in your cosplay is most important. But for me, I like to look perfect. I like to look on point. That's just me. The last question I got is from June. Why did you start cosplaying in YouTube? And who is your favorite cosplay? Um, I started cosplaying because, you know, my only... A uh, hobby back in the day when I was 10, you know, 9, 10 years old, was drawing, you know, I didn't really do anything else, and I was only in elementary school, so. and then my cousin showed it to me, I was just like, whoa, this is really cool, the people are really cool, and it was Sailor Moon, like Sailor Moon cosplay, a big group, I was like, oh, that is a life goal for me, I want to have girlfriends who will cosplay in a group with me like that, you know, it was really cool, because I knew about Sailor Moon, and I was just like, I had never seen anybody cosplay before this point in time. And I was just like, ooh, that's cool. And then, I started YouTubing because, one, sometimes I feel like I have way too much free time. It's another hobby. It's fun. I like to get to know people. I like to meet new friends, you know? I like to get out there. Um... I'm not good as a social person in person, but I can talk to a camera easily. It's so weird how that happens. Um, and my favorite cosplay, top three. 
top three favorite cosplays are Purple Guy, Sakura Haruno, and Black Rock Shooter. Purple Guy because, you know, he's my only male cosplay. It's super fun to be him, like, especially if I go on a Mabel, who's like, what's up kids, <laughs> you know? It's just super fun. And then Black Rock Shooter because she's my most popular cosplay that I have out of the 13 outfits that I have. And then hmm, Sakura Haruno because, like I said, I relate to her the best. Yeah. Thank you, that's all the questions. Okay, an amazement update. Um, here is my Black Rock Shooter cannon that I made by hand. Out of cardboard, tape, nails, hot glue, glue. Yeah. And all of this is for an amazement. Ugh, look at that wig. Oh my goodness, Mocha. All of this is for an amazement. You're probably asking where I sleep. I sleep right there. Um, all of this is just gonna go with me to the con. And, oh, there's my dress for the formal dance that's gonna be there. Um, there's my suitcase with absolutely nothing in it but a tag. And, yeah. And then, PG water. So, pretty much all I have to do is fix that mess. Um, I ironed my dress already, so that's good. I need to obviously put my stuff in that. Um, other than that... I am pretty much set to go. I've just been super lazy. Thank you guys so much for your questions and all of that. And I'll see you in my next video whenever and whatever it is. So, thank you guys once again. This has been Alexander, and I'll see you guys later.